The tribunal was established in 1993 to deal with some of the worst atrocities that were being reported from the war zones at that time, from Bosnia and Herzegovina and from Croatia. The Security Council set it up and placed it in The Hague as an international ad hoc body, temporary body, because uh, the local judiciaries were unable or unwilling to deal with those crimes. Uh, we have had to devise a vast number of procedures to carry forward our work in an expeditious and fair manner. So that's at the procedural level. At the substantive level, uh, we have um, developed international humanitarian law at the tribunal. The advances that have been made in substantive international humanitarian law are by and large due to the work of the tribunal. So, since 2003, uh, when the completion strategy was devised, for the tribunal it became much more important to work with the local judiciaries, to strengthen their capacity, to be able to deal with war crimes cases, and also, at the same time, and as one of the first steps, uh, to transfer some of its own cases from The Hague, from the tribunal, to the courts in Zagreb, Sarajevo and Belgrade. OSC participating states have committed themselves to the rule of law and fair trial and our office order is mandated to assist them in meeting these commitments. For the states in the Southeast Europe, the main ambition, the main goal is European integration and the quality of their handling the war crimes trial will be essential in achieving this objective. The project, which is 18 months long, and uh, implemented by the ICTY together with ODIR, OSCE and UNICRI um, is funded by the European Union. We have been supporting prosecution, sending their experts to ICTY to work with ICTY for a number of, of, of months and years. Now we have another project, which is this new project that has been developed. It's 4 million euros that we're investing into this uh, project to actually transfer capacity, expertise, knowledge in the procedures, in the handling of the uh, different technical tools, because actually ICTY is going to close down in a few years' time, and all the work, all the burden of delivering justice will fall on the domestic uh, courts exclusively. Among um, the activities to be highlighted from the project, and there are 14 of them in a total, is um, the production of at least 60,000 pages of the transcripts in the local languages, developing the curricula on international and uh, criminal and humanitarian law, um, building the staffing capacities of the prosecutors and courts uh, uh, in the region, as well as uh, developing uh, the knowledge of the defense lawyers. These were all components that were identified as part of the uh, assessment that was done in the region by the judges and the prosecutors and defense attorneys who are going to be responsible for prosecuting these important cases. A key aspect of this project and of the research phase which preceded it was building close relationships with the justice actors and institutions throughout the region. The research that we undertook 
helped map the capacity gaps that are facing the judicial and legal actors in the region. We also asked those local actors to help us prioritise their needs. And one of the priority issues that they signalled to us was the need for legal support staff. We responded by making available a team of young legal support staff, analysts, researchers and legal experts to assist the judges and prosecutors in handling the war crimes caseload. Out of 12 members who were hired by the Serbian War Crimes Prosecutor's Office, roughly half of them, well basically exactly half of them, six are trained lawyers, whereas the other people come from the field of humanities or social sciences or media science. The reason to do so is exactly because war crimes prosecution is a sort of a highly specialized field of activity and it crossed the minds of the prosecutor that one needs interdisciplinary expertise. The prosecutor's office came to realize that a lot of accomplishments of the ICTY, or the Hague Tribunal, was actually exactly embedded in different non-legal expertise, which was of immense help to the prosecutor's teams in different, uh, in different cases. Therefore, there was will and understanding that such expertise, such in-house expertise, would be extremely beneficial in the Serbian War Crimes Prosecutor's Office. We received funding for the salaries of 12 young people. They went through a rather difficult hiring process before they were hired, and I can truly say that the very best were selected. We were able to see that from the very beginning. From the moment they started working, they have been so enthusiastic, so full of adrenaline, tackling their cases, conducting investigations and some rather delicate interviews, some of which were conducted in prisons, for example. One other advantage of this project, to my mind, is not only uh, establishing and gathering the interdisciplinary expertise. Uh, there are a couple of more advantages that need to be stressed. Uh, for instance, uh, one might speak about the necessity to integrate uh, young professionals, particularly young lawyers, into the work of this office. Having in mind that war crimes have been committed between 1991 and 1999, it is very likely that processing of these crimes will take decades, if not decades. One of the ways that this project is helping a lot in order to do so is that this project is assisting in training these young professionals. It wasn't only about enabling war crimes prosecutor's office to integrate them in that work, it was also about uh, enabling these people to get constant training. Um, the training of legal professionals um, is being conducted in close cooperation with the ODR office and the OSC offices in the region. We we'll offer um, uh, tailor-made training to the legal staff, supporting staff as well as professionals all over the region in uh, specific components of the ICTY uh, court records database. Other activities we will be focusing on in providing our support and training is uh, offering assistance for sections which deal with uh, victims and witness uh, uh, protection and assistance. Also included in uh, one area of focus is uh, peer-to-peer -peer meetings with judges uh, where they share experiences and their expertise. There are at least two important respects in which there is equality between the judges of my tribunal and the judges of the national judiciaries. First, um, we are judges, so there is naturally a fraternity. Secondly, we are judges doing the same work. We are trying war crimes. It's only natural that we should have exchanges. We have an experience which is different from theirs, and they have an experience which is different from ours. The knowledge and expertise of the Hague Tribunal can be useful to the local judges in the work which is why I think that all of the judges who are involved in adjudicating war crimes cases need to familiarize themselves with the expertise and the positive lessons learned by the tribunal. It is essential, therefore, that we get the opportunity to exchange experiences, not only in Bosnia and Herzegovina, but also with our colleagues in the entire region, because the peer-to-peer -peer exchange of experiences can only improve the standard of prosecuting war crimes. <laughs> Well, 
One of the key elements of this project is the production of uh, transcripts of trials that were held before the tribunal. The local prosecutors and courts needed the transcripts in the local language, in the language that was understandable to them, in order to con conduct their own investigations and processes before their own courts. We uh, listened to audio tracks, to selected audio tracks of ICTY court hearings, and we transcribe. We make verbatim transcripts. So what we hear is what we transcribe. So the variation of languages is going to include Bosnia, Croatia, Serbia. These transcripts are very important because the tribunal has an enormous amount of documentation and evidence at its disposal, and we find it very useful. Therefore, as part of the tribunal's closing strategy and the transfer of cases to the region, I believe that these transcripts will play a very important role and will be significant for our work. However, because we only have received enough funding for maximum of about 20% of the overall uh, transcripts that we could make, we have to prioritize very carefully and we do that indeed with the liaison, direct liaison with the uh, counterparts, with the judiciaries in the region who have um, given us in a sense, input on what their needs are, what the priorities would be, and we are um, adjusting our list of priorities in, in order to meet their needs. We are engaged in a number of activities that will greatly assist the local judiciaries in following on from our work, and that is in, in continuing war crimes prosecutions at the domestic level. This will bring significant benefit to the local judiciaries. It will greatly assist them in undertaking their work, but will also help to cement the legacy of the ICTY. So it's for those reasons that we are so supportive of this project.